Coming in with regards to the Indians, uh, there in the Russia-Ukraine war zone, several Indians have been duped to work with the Russian army. Nearly two dozen Indians are believed to have been forced into fighting Russia's war against Ukraine after being tricked by agents into going to the country on the pretext of getting high-paying jobs. One of them was unfortunately even killed earlier this week in the conflict zone as well. CBI has filed an FIR in this particular matter and CNN News 18 in fact managed to speak to Baba Vlogger, also known as Faisal Khan, who runs a YouTube channel for jobs in Dubai and whose name has been uh, filed in the FIR by the CBI. Listen in to this exclusive conversation by CNN News 18. आप दुबई में हो तो ये लोग आपके संपर्क में कैसे है कौन लोग यही जो लोग रशिया गए हुए थे नहीं चैनल तो आपका नहीं स्टडी किया मैंने CNN News 18, Siddhan Mishra is joining us live on the broadcast. Siddhan, a very good morning to you. This man that you ex exclusively spoke to, Baba Vlogger, since he's a blogger, all of his videos are there on the public forum. He has been blamed for painting sort of a rosy picture for people to take up jobs in the war zone. What are the pivotal points that he actually mentioned in that exclusive conversation that you managed to have it for uh, CNN News 18? Well, uh, look, uh, uh, there is a chain of agents. This is what uh, we have understood after speaking to both Faisal and Moin. There is one more conversation in which we have spoken to Moin, uh, agent in St. Petersburg, uh, Russia. Now, both of them are saying that they have been falsely implicated by CBI. Now, they have to say that they are into the business of providing men uh, or perhaps, uh, you know, finding job opportunities for Indian men abroad. Uh, this time, uh, uh, it went wrong. And uh, in fact, they did the proper due diligence. Uh, in fact, the families of these young boys were uh, told about the job profile, uh, the kind of money they are going to earn. Uh, in fact, the proper contract was also signed. Uh, they were also told that there is going to be a training process which they have to undertake. So they have to say that all the details were shared to the family members and to these boys. And despite that, they took uh, these jobs. So they say that that uh, that uh, you know CBI claims that it's the uh, it's a human trafficking racket it's uh, it's sort of uh, you know people were duped their passports were confiscated uh, you know they were uh, uh, they were forced to work for the russian army now these two agents have to say that they don't uh, there is nothing of that sort everything was transparent and these boys got panicked since they were sent to the front lines and sort of were asked to uh, you know uh, uh, asked to fire asked to use weapons and that that perhaps may became the reason that they got panicked and also two of the boys got killed but you know this is what these agents have to say in their defense. Both of them have been named in FIR, in the CBI FIR. CBI, in fact, raided their premises also in, in, in India. And in fact, uh, uh, you know, they are under the lens of Central Bureau of Investigation. We also did ask both of them that whether they will come to India to join the CBI probe, to mm -hmm. which they have to say that if, if they will come and join the CBI probe, then their chain with, uh, 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 with the Russian agent will break. So this is what
what they have to say in their defense. Now it is up to the Central Bureau of Investigation to probe and bring the truth out that who is responsible for this human trafficking racket. So there is this hmm. guy Ramesh in uh, in Russia who works for the Russian army and he happens to be the kingpin of this entire human trafficking uh, network. He came up with the proposal to Kushpreet. Kushpreet runs a restaurant in St. Petersburg and through Kushpreet, Moin got to know about these job opportunities and Moin uh, uh, told this to Faisal. Now Faisal hmm. sits, uh, Baba, Faisal sits in Dubai. He runs his YouTube uh, page uh, for jobs and and you know uh, and 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 he sta he started flashing that on his YouTube place and that how these youth uh, from from southern states of India got connected uh, uh, to uh, to Faisal. Now these two uh, agents are sort of portraying them as innocent. They say that they are, they are being falsely implicated by CBI. They say that they are in fact the whistleblowers because when the children were caught, the boys were caught and they couldn't come. So they were the one who asked the families back in India to register FIR or perhaps put pressure on government so hmm. they can be uh, sent back. So this is what they have to say in their defense. But right now they are being named by CBI in the FIR. The probe is going on. You remember 13 places were raided by CBI yeah. uh, the other day. In fact, uh, uh, you know, a lot of Officers were also uh, also raided, and these two individuals are on CBI radar. Moin is uh, currently in Dubai, and uh, uh, Faisal is in Dubai, and Moin is in Saint Petersburg, Russia. Both of them are not ready to come and present uh, the case before uh, CBI. They say that they're scared of coming to India and do that. Uh, but what they are doing is that they've spoken to us and perhaps uh, you know sort of telling the story that they are not the scamsters. They have not duped people. Uh, what they did. Uh, 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 what all they did was through a transparent process right. and uh, they don't have uh, roles to uh, roles to play so this is what these two accused uh, are saying in their defense back to you